All right, still can't sleep. It's 3.38 in the morning, and we get to do lesson 52. This is using unit multipliers to convert measures and converting mixed units to single unit measures. I think this will go pretty fast. Um, I'm jumping right into example one. And this is what you have to remember in this lesson. You know, like when we have a number, okay, like 20 uh, over 2, okay, we know that we can reduce that number because numbers on the bottom cancel out numbers on the top. Or if we have x squared over x, okay, we know that x's will cancel out. Just like that happens when you have unit measures, okay, the tag or the title will cancel out. You'll see what I mean. It says a sapling tree is 64 inches tall. Okay, convert 64 inches to feet by multiplying 64 inches by one foot is 12 inches. So we know that one foot is 12 inches. Okay, and we want to convert inches to feet. So we can do one of two things. We can say one foot over 12 inches or we can say 12 inches over one foot. So if we're looking at this, we want the inches to cancel. So we need a top and a bottom. So we're gonna pick this one foot over 12 inches. Okay. Because now we know that this unit will cancel this unit. And all we have left is feet. So if we look now, we have 64 divided by 12 feet, which is 12 goes into 64, 5 with 4 left over, which reduces to 5 and 1 third feet. So 64 inches, 5 and 1 third feet. Okay. Example 2 says a certain double feature at a theater is 270 minutes long. We want to convert that to hours. Easy conversion, we know that there are 60 minutes in an hour, so we have to decide, do we want to go 60 minutes in an hour? Or do we want to say an hour is 60 minutes? Now, since we want to cancel this unit out, we're going to go with this one right here. Okay. And if we bring that up, we can see that if we multiply these together, that this will cancel, and we'll be left with hours. So now we just have 270 divided by 60, which is the same as 27 over 6. Goes in there four times. 3 left over, 3 and 4 and 3 is 6, equals 4 and 1 half. Minutes are canceled out. We have hours. For a meeting, he wondered if 4 quarts of juice is enough for 30 students. If 4 quarts is 4 quarts, a reasonable amount of juice for the meeting. If not, suggest a more reasonable quantity. Okay. So it says if each student has the same amount of juice, then one serving is four quarts divided by 30. So we have four quarts over 30 students. Well, the question is, does that work for us in quarts? Well, maybe ounces is more of a realistic measure to see if that's enough for 30 students, and we know that there are 32 ounces in a quart. So do we go 32 ounces over a quart, or do we go quart is 32 ounces? Now we know we want to get rid of this, so we're going to take the one that has it on the bottom. So we're going to multiply by this one. So let's multiply this out. And this will cancel. 
Here we go. Try to cancel this. Okay. So now we have 4 times 32 on the top, and we have 30 on the bottom. So we have 128 divided by 30. Four times okay, with eight left over, eight thirtieths. So we have four and four fifteenths ounces. Let's say four ounces. Now, is that enough for each student? You now, considering that a standard soda container is 12 ounces, that would be about a third of a soda. Okay. So the question is. Four quarts is probably not enough juice for 30 students. Okay. This is example four, lesson 52. So now what we're doing is we're converting mixed units to single units. Okay. And the example on the top of 356 is this. Mr. Seymour is six feet, three inches tall. What we want to do is convert all of this to how many feet tall is he? Well, he's six feet, we know that, and three inches would be three twelfths, okay? three inches out of twelve inches for a foot. So then we just say six feet one fourth. So six and a fourth feet or six point two five feet. Okay. So we just converted everything to a single unit. So let's go up to example four. Example four says, Samantha, what did you do now, Samantha? Samantha drove 100 miles in an hour and 45 minutes. How many hours did it take? So we want to convert those 45 minutes to an hour. So it's going to be 45 minutes over one hour, 45 minutes over 60 minutes. Okay, so we're going to convert that to three-fourths. So we know that she drew, drove for one hour and 45 minutes. So she drove that one hour plus the 45 minutes, one and three fourths hours. Or you could say that she drove 1.75 hours. Okay. We converted everything to a single unit. All right, let's see what's going on next. Noel. Ran one mile and seven minutes and 30 seconds. He's flying, okay? Find his time in minutes. So it's seven minutes and then it's 30 seconds. So 30 over 60. So we can say seven and three six or seven and one half minutes. Or we could say 7.5. That's it. All right, I'm going to jump to example six here. And in number six, it's going to be a little different because so it looks like this. To measure a room for carpeting, one converts the length and the width of the room from feet and inches to yards. A room is 13 feet, six inches long. So the first thing we're going to do is convert this to feet, and then when we're done, we're going to convert that to yards. Okay? So if we have 13 feet 6 inches, we know that that's 13 feet and then 6 out of 12. Okay? That's 12 inches in a foot. So now we know we have 13 and a half feet, and we know that's 13.5. So now that we did it from a single unit, now we convert measures. So if we start up here, 13 and a half feet, and we know that there are three feet in the yard. So we have to decide, okay, do we go three feet per yard, or do we say yard equals three feet? Now, since we want to get rid of the foot label, and we want to keep the yard, we have this in the top, so we have to pick the one on the bottom. So we bring up here and multiply those 
together. So this will cancel out. This will cancel out. And what we'll have is 13.5 divided by 3, which is 4.5 yards. Okay. So that's it. That's the end of lesson 52. Again, if you're having problems, you come and see me. Uh, if you want to work through the practice set with me, we can work through the practice set together. And if you're okay to start the written practice, that starts on 357 and it goes through 359. Okay, so good luck. Uh, go get them and let me know what you need. All right, smell you later.